Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to reset your BIOS or CMOS. Now, why would you need to do this? Well, maybe you've made some changes to your hardware, like RAM and things like that, and you may need to reset your CMOS back to default settings, and then you can make a change to that to make it bootable. Maybe you've done some overclocking settings or changed the BIOS in some way, and you want to uh, put it back to default settings because you're having issues. I'm going to show you how to do all of that after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key to activate your version of Windows, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to their website and create an account and choose what you want to purchase. Now, once you've got this set, all you need to do then is click the Buy Now button and you can then use my promo code inside the promo code box, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases. Once you submit your order, you can pay by PayPal and then they will send you your key and then head over to the Windows Activation Center and activate your version of Windows. Okay, back to resetting your CMOS, the first option is the button on the motherboard itself. If you're running one of these HP or Dell, you may have a little button that says uh, clear CMOS. Also on the back of the motherboard IO plate, you may have a clear CMOS button on there. This is normally on the higher end motherboards. Also, they will have a little jumper on the motherboard called JBAT1, and you'll see a little tiny jumper on there, which you can hold a screwdriver on to clear the CMOS. You also have your CMOS battery, which you can remove and remove all power from the motherboard and push the power button down and you will then be able to clear your CMOS. If you go to the motherboard manufacturer's website, you will find some documentation which you can literally uh, download and have a look at and it will tell you how to reset the CMOS on your motherboard depending on what one you've got. Every motherboard will have a different way of clearing the CMOS. Some have a little jumper, some have a shorter pin where you can short it out with a screwdriver, and some have a button on the motherboard itself or on the back of the I.O. as you've seen in this video. Once you've checked the manufacturer's manual, you can then see here there is an area that tells you how to clear the CMOS for that particular board. On this board we're looking at here, let's go down and show you exactly what it tells you to do to be able to clear the CMOS on this particular motherboard. Now, remember every motherboard will be different, but every motherboard has a CMOS battery and you can always remove the CMOS battery, remove the power cable from the computer, and then hold the power button down to drain all the power out of the board. With the battery removed, the CMOS will be cleared. You can always use this method as well, which is resetting the BIOS to default values by powering off the computer, removing the power cord, and using the jumper cap to short the uh, JBAT1 for five to 10 seconds, and then remove the jumper from the JBAT1 and then move it back. I'll show you how to do that in a second, but basically you can use whatever method suits you depending on what motherboard you have. Uh, but this method, you clearing the CMOS works with pretty much all motherboards. Now, some of them will have three pins on them where you just move the jumper across, and some of them only have two pins, and some of them don't have a cap at all, and they just have two pins, where you can short them out with a screwdriver to clear the CMOS. But you do have to remove the power cable for all of these methods to be able to clear the CMOS on that motherboard. Let's take a look at the motherboard for that documentation. And you can see here, we have that CMOS battery and we have that little JBAT connector right there. So they can be in a different location. This is an older system. Let me show you this one right here. It's easier to film here. We do have that CMOS battery. And uh, you can remove this and uh, remove the power and then hold the power button down. And this will drain any sort of power from the motherboard and it will normally clear the CMOS within 30 seconds. Over here, we have that JBAT connector here. If you go closer here, you can see this is the free pin model, which means you have to remove the uh, actual cap here, the little cap on there and move it over to the other connection. And then basically all that's gonna do is reset it. So let me just pull this off and I'll show you, it's just like a little tiny cap that you have to remove, which has a connection in it, like so. You can't really see it here that clearly, but I'll move it over to the other two, and this will then clear the CMOS. As you can see on the screen on the left-hand side, I've moved it up one, and that's all you need to do. And you leave that for so many seconds with no power to it, and it will clear the CMOS. Once you've done that, you can move it back 
to the other location and then the system will be cleared and you'll be able to boot that system back up. That is using the clear uh, CMOS version on the JBAT connection here. Sometimes they don't have a little cap on them, they just have the two pins and you can short them out with an actual screwdriver by holding it on there for 10 seconds or so with no power and it will normally clear the CMOS as well. Now you can also, like I said, remove the battery. Uh, all these batteries are pretty much the same thing. You've got a little connector on the back. You can just push the screwdriver up against it like so, and it will pop out. Let me just show you here. So you just push this little lever here at the back, and out will come the actual battery. And then all you need to do here is make sure you've got no power on the computer at all, and the power cable is out. You can hold the power button down for 10 to 30 seconds, and you will then find that the CMOS will be cleared. So once the actual battery has been removed for 30 seconds, I generally hold the power button down to drain whatever last bit of power is held into some sort of caps on the board, and it will then generally uh, clear the CMOS. But once you've done that, you can put the battery back into the motherboard. You just push it in the front end and clip it back in, and it's now done. If you want to boot to the actual BIOS itself, if you can get into the BIOS, sometimes you can't get to the BIOS because of passwords or because you need to clear the CMOS, but you can actually load optimized defaults right here inside the BIOS if you can get to the BIOS. And this is a more modern BIOS, but it's the same thing for any sort of legacy setup as well. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That's basically how you can clear your CMOS or reset your BIOS. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether it's tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.